Greetings, M0 YKS, Simon back with you. Hope you're doing well out there. I'm uh, messing around receiving signals from the ISS, the International Space Station. And today is uh, the day, the second day actually, where they're transmitting some uh, MMS STV images. And the Russian cosmonauts are operating RS0 ISS. So yeah, I'm using a bit of tracking software. I'll give you a close up shortly. So the, the space station's coming into range and uh, I'm using some software called MMSS TV software, which is a free download. It's been around for years and uh, I use it on HF, but it's very good for tracking the ISS, uh, not for tracking, for decoding the ISS SS TV images. So tracking with Orbitron, that's the software we're using today for the uh, position. And uh, I've got my antennas pointed in the right direction. So let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so yeah, we've got the uh, position of the satellite of the space station coming in right now. I should be getting some reception on, on my radio, which is the FD-847. It's on 145800. And the space station has got the footprint touching North America, top of South, uh, South, uh, sorry, North Africa, the whole of Spain, and Ireland. And now he's just coming into my, my uh, position, so I'm gonna start receiving. Uh, this is where the images will be coming through. This is MMSS TV software. Check out this uh, reading here. This is the audio level. So you, you want that to go green. This is the uh, the analyzer. And what you will get is a uh, little picture that comes up like that. It will be like a, upside, a bit like an N. So when you get the reception, you'll see what I'm talking about. And obviously a few of you guys have already used it for many years. So. This is just for anybody who's thinking about receiving images from the ISS. You don't need a fancy antenna, you don't need a fancy radio, you don't even need a license. You just need a receiver, 145800 frequency, FM, on wide receive rather than narrow. And let's see what goes on. So I've had a couple of good images already today. Uh, let's see if we can get anywhere. So I'm starting slightly up frequency. 803 because that's the Doppler shift. I expect that that will affect the signal. It'll be slightly higher, and as the space station gets nearer, I'll adjust the frequency down. I'll adjust the frequency down, and I'll end up probably uh, 800 will be the central operating when it's overhead, and then it'll drop down to 98 as it disappears over Europe. So hopefully we'll get a, an image from the space station and the cosmonauts. Just in case of waiting now. Got the antenna locked in the right direction. Slightly move it back. Get a bit of elevation. So yeah, keeping an eye on this footprint. And this is a, here we go. So that's what I'm talking about, the green for the reception. Turn the volume up, we get more. This is the, spectrum analyzer which we need to get in between these two lines and then the images start to come through as you can see so that's the sound of that ss tv and a bit of tv in the background got a few notifications popping up yeah, the, the position of the space station is changing, so I'll move my antenna to correspond. And the elevation on this one is going to be quite a good one. I think it's going to be up to about 50 degrees, so we should get a very good reception. And we're getting a uh, picture of the helicopter coming through. So I'll keep an eye on the frequency as it gets a bit nearer, we'll drop it down. Compensate for the, uh, what we call the Doppler shift. And that is coming through nicely, the pattern which we want in there. That was the last image I received from the space station. This one's a lot cleaner. And it's a bigger signal. The signal is 40 dB over at the moment. Up to 20 degrees elevation. So I'm just getting a better signal now. We're up to 60 dB. 
we don't get a better single signal than that. And this is celebrating various cosmonaut activities in space, transmitted from the International Space Station, travelling at 15,000 miles an hour, as it passes over, at the moment, the south of the UK. I'm in the central of the UK, and I'm 424 kilometres away from the space station, according to my information which is not a bad signal for uh, VHF so we'll just keep a tracking on that because we've received that image there that is one image I will imagine we'll get a second attempt at this one so now that the, um, the antenna will be moving quite quickly uh, due to uh, it, it's swinging over so at the moment it's in a pretty good place it's just on the tip of Cornwall and then we're going to be getting a pass across London and as you can see I'm further north I'm, I'm in the north of England and then the, the, the ground track takes the space station down this way over the Middle East and across the bottom past Kuwait and Dubai so hello all our friends in that direction I know a lot of you guys are watching the videos so 73 from England we're going to see the space station over the airport and then it'll track down there and then sweep back new, around New Zealand come back over Alaska and then that's the way it goes so yeah oh sorry I got a lot I got I got confused it won't come back over Alaska it'll come back this direction I'm looking at the uh, the actual sun pattern there so yeah the daylight pattern so I'm just waiting now for another chance to receive it and we're at 161 so I'll just move the antenna system and the elevation at the moment is up to 52 degrees so it's at its maximum elevation it's going to start dropping down now but we'll still get an extremely good signal we just need another transmission i'm going to change the frequency down to 800 because it has come past my qth now it's right over me now at the minute if it was darkness i would be able to see it so the position of the uh, space station is 129 degrees so we'll bring that down and there we go so we've got a full end-stopping signal and hopefully we'll get a different image coming through this time. So yeah. It's an image 1 of 2, so we're at 1 of 12, so we, there must be 12 images in total that we can receive. And uh, this looks like a pretty good clear transmission, so I'll just keep an eye on the position of the antenna so we don't make any mistakes and lose it and drop the elevation down a little bit to correspond with the position of the space station which right at the moment is just entering Europe now this is a good picture, I've not seen this one since uh, these transmissions began So we're still getting an end scale signal, 60 dB, solid copy on FM wide. And that is a very nice clear picture from Romeo Sierra Zero ISS. So we're still inside the footprint of the ISS so we might even have another opportunity to possibly receive the next image depending on how quick the cosmonauts are at sending them or maybe we'll have to wait till the next pass for that but either way two good clear images slow scan television so we're pleased with that one so I'm going to keep uh, the video running a little bit longer just until we lose the actual footprint which is the area of the circle around the ISS. You can see I've got other satellites on this program 
for the amateur satellites which I like to uh, operate through and uh, the position at the moment is red there it's 93 degrees that's what I'm on and it's 10 degrees elevation so I'll drop the antenna down slightly and we'll keep our fingers crossed and maybe squeeze another one in but it is getting close to the edge of the footprint that's where I am I've got I've got reasonable opportunity just see how long it takes for the next transmission to occur probably gives the uh, to give, to give the VHF receiver a few minutes to cool down because obviously you've got quite a bit long transmission with SSTV but they generally operate on low power so it's not too bad uh, I use SSTV on 20 meters on HF as well as on VHF for receiving images from the ISS I also use a similar program to receive weather images from NOAA satellites which is a very similar process using the similar kind of system to get the pictures up so if you're interested in this kind of thing hit the subscribe like button and check out the satellite operations playlist that I've created on my channel there's a lot of uh, good interesting ways to operate on the uh, satellites uh, via the ISS using modest handheld satellite antennas some of them are homemade and uh, obviously something a little bit more commercial which I'm using now so yeah a couple more minutes before we lose the pass maybe we might seek a little one but probably it's possible we may have uh, had our two transmissions for this particular one but either way hope you've enjoyed oh there we go this one will be a bit scratchy because the weak signals down to our S5 but we're getting a signal nevertheless so this is image 2 out of 12 I'll have to focus a bit more on the antenna system to ensure we get a better reception and move the frequency a little bit sounds like we're losing it Out of the footprint, we're receiving it beyond the footprint. So that's all about having a half decent antenna system. But obviously you can do all this with a simple handheld. You can also access online SDR software defined radio receivers and uh, listen through other people's antenna systems. There's also dongles available to plug into your uh, laptops and there is certain software available on Android. So if you enjoyed it, why not try it out for yourself? MMSS TV receiving the International Space Station. Zem Zero YKS signing and clearing. And I'll catch you on another video. Stay safe and stay healthy. <laughs>